Another element of this heat wave is uh, you're feeling a little hot around the collar when it's hot outside. It turns out it's not all in your head. Mary Marshall shows us how heat can impact our brains. Yeah, it, it is definitely a thing. Heat stress, it can make us feel irritated. It can impact our sleep, even impact how we think. The National Institutes of Health has a large body of research on this topic. Let's talk about a few ways this can happen. One reason is because heat can cause a neurotransmitter imbalance in the brain. These chemical messengers send signals to target cells and help control everything from emotions to moving our arms and legs. When our brains are exposed to too much heat, a Baylor College of Medicine expert noted that the balance of neurotransmitters can be thrown off. As a result, you may feel a tad grouchy. We also have what's called a parasympathetic nervous system. This helps the brain to calm down when we're in a stressful situation. Basically, it says, hey brain, take it easy. The brain can perceive heat as stress. In a study in the journal Wiley, researchers found that the parasympathetic nervous system was less active when people were exposed to unusual heat. Plus, oxygen saturation levels were lower, which could also explain why people may not think as clearly when it's too hot. A study out of Rutgers found that college students in hot dorms scored lower on tests. These tests only required simple addition and subtraction. In the workplace, research published by the U.S. Department of Energy found that productivity was highest when the indoor temperature was at 72 degrees, and that as the temperatures got warmer, people weren't as productive. Now here's the, here's the thing, if you need help staying cool, keep this in mind. You can text the number on your screen, 202-895-5599. And uh, we're going to send you a link back with the cooling centers around the DMV, as well as the most updated forecast, so you can stay prepared. Now, now Miri, you talked about this. This is uh, this is actually a, a real deal thing because a lot of people say hot around the collar because it's you're grouchy because it's hot outside. But you just talked about the science. This is this is real. Oh, it's real. The heat, you know, it takes it believes it's stress to your body. Your body can't distinguish between oh stress because I'm I'm mad because my coworker showed up late or <laughs> stress between heat. It's like it's stress and mm -hmm. I can't take it. Right. So it really does have an impact. But our brain, um, the hearts, uh, everything. Oh. This heat. Um, that's why we emphasize to people so much to take the precautions. Um, Stay indoors if you can. If you can yeah. and get to some air conditioning if right. you can. Right. Those cooling centers could very well be saving many right. lives. Yeah okay. and we're going to talk about that throughout the morning because we have someone from emergency management coming in later on to talk about how you can access those cooling centers uh, just in case you don't know where they are. They got maps. They got the whole nine yards. We're going to talk about it all throughout the morning. So good job. Keep Thank us safe. You. Yeah. All right.